You know, we, we still have the world straight flush. Not even close. And we should recognize that, and we have these serious problems, and we've got to work hard. That was J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon speaking Monday night about the U.S. economy. But in hindsight, the new strategy was flawed, complex, poorly reviewed, poorly executed, and poorly monitored. And that was Dimon speaking to analysts on Thursday, a decidedly less optimistic Dimon, discussing the bank's huge trading loss. So. Obviously, to be fair to Diamond, the royal straight flush line was something he was talking about, the U.S. economy. I, I still beg to differ. I don't think the U.S. economy is in that great shape. But right now, his bank obviously reeling on the revelation of this gigantic trading loss, a lot of it due to uh, you know, the supposed London whale or Voldemort, as he's now being referred to. I think this just all illustrates why any investor that had been buying into the big banks earlier this year Chase's stock, B of A, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, all these stocks had a really nice pop at the beginning of the year, optimism that maybe the worst was over in Europe, that things were getting better on Wall Street in terms of the trading environment. You just can never really know what these big banks are doing, even with regulation, even if we have the Volcker rule being enacted and some other aspects of Dodd-Frank cracking down on the big banks. You can't regulate entirely against risk, taking and against stupid trades. And that is one reason, a main reason why I have strongly been urging readers to not buy into this big bank rally. There are other banks out there that may be boring, that just do the standard loaning money at one rate, taking deposits in at another rate. It's plain vanilla banking, but guess what? You don't lose $2 billion by doing that if you run your business right. Jamie Dimon is a great CEO. I think he deserves credit for trying to nip this in the bud, getting it out of the way, instead of just sitting on it and hoping that as the quarter progressed, things would get better. But if JP Morgan is the quote unquote best bank on Wall Street and they had this happen to them, how bad might things be at some of the other Wall Street banks that aren't acknowledged as the you know, new kings of Wall Street, if you will? So I think it's yet another sign why investors have to be worried about the big banks. And as a reminder to any poker players out there and Jamie Dimon, this is what a royal straight flush actually looks like. 10 Jack, Queen, King, Ace, all the same suit. Sadly for Diamond and bank investors today, we're playing Texas Hold'em. This is what they were dealt. 2-7 unsuited, the worst possible hand you can get.